Welcome to The Whole Career, a podcast by Advent Health, where we hear valuable career information, resources, and advice from our team members. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Narissa Rampersad. I am your host and part of the HR Center of Expertise Talent Management Team. We'll be sitting down with leading experts and professionals within the organization who have firsthand experience and knowledge in their fields. Be sure to subscribe to get the latest information. This episode is centered around mental health, and I'm very excited to be joined today by our guests from Advent Health Shawnee Mission, which is located in Shawnee Mission, Kansas. Our first guest is Rennie Schuler mckenney She's the Clinical Director of Behavioral Health, and Greg Hessel, he's the Clinical Manager of Behavioral Health. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Can you both tell us a little bit more about your clinical background and your current role? Sure. Thanks, Narissa. Um, I started my career well over 30 years ago and obtained a master's degree in psychology. And in the state of Kansas, I'm licensed as a clinical psychotherapist. Um, Most of my career has been spent treating teenagers. And then I moved into an administrative role, uh, which I'm currently doing here at Advent Health. And my name is Greg Helsel. I am the Behavioral Health Clinical Manager here at Advent Health Shawnee Mission. I've been here for just right at two years. Uh, my career is a little bit different in that I spent most of my time in community mental health. I am a licensed clinical professional counselor and I have spent the bulk majority of my career working with individuals with post-traumatic stress disorder. What would you say is the importance of mental health in the community and in the workplace? Marissa, it is so incredibly important to be focused both on our mental health as well as our physical health. You know, when we go off to see our doctor once a year for our annual review, um, I'm excited that more and more physicians are asking those mental health questions. And the reason I say that is we know that one in five individuals suffer from some type of mental illness. And so the focus on taking care of our whole person, our whole body, is incredibly important. Greg, what do you think? I would absolutely agree with that, Rennie. Um, from a from a health perspective, having the immediate feedback and the immediate attention drawn to when somebody's struggling is very important. And also calling notice to it helps us to destigmatize the problems that we may be having and letting everybody know that it's okay not to be okay. I'm really proud to say that we treat the whole person here at Advent Health Shawnee Mission, and mental health is very much a part of that. As caregivers, we have to remember that um, when we're feeling our best, we're going to be able to provide the very best care for our patients and all those individuals that come to us for care. I've heard about some of the incredible work that your team has done for team members at Advent Health Shawnee Mission. Can you share with us some of the ways in which you have provided support within the past year and do you have any plans for the future? One of the focuses that we've had here at Advent Health Shawnee Mission is to be sure that we're taking care of the whole patient as well as the whole team member. And so during this pandemic over the last year, very early on, we recognized that our team members were struggling. Uh, They were tired. uh, They were fearful. And so we took one of our conference rooms that wasn't currently being used because we weren't doing large gatherings, of course, and we turned it into a serenity room. From there, we set up different stations where team members during their breaks or if they were just feeling overwhelmed, they could come and do some self-reflection. And the different stations included things like a um, prayer table, uh, a doodling station where you could just scribble if that's what you felt like doing. Uh, Another station was focused on stretching. We had a resource station. And one of the most popular happened to be the relaxation station where you were able to sit in some real comfy chairs and really just stay focused on yourself, your breathing, and ways to re-energize or rejuvenate before going back into the workplace. In addition to that, uh, we set um, up a team member support and well-being program. And so if you found yourself as an employee really struggling uh, at work, whether that's work-related or maybe something that's going on in your personal life, we have the ability to have a therapist trained uh, in behavioral health to meet with you on the spot. Um, And you can have up to three free visits, very similar to our employees assistance program, uh, yet it's right here on campus with uh, people that care about you and know kind of our work environment. And we have found that this program, which is supported by our charitable foundation, has been incredibly successful and that our team members 
they love having that extra support right here on campus. Greg, anything you'd like to add to that? We also have our, what we call care calls. Our care calls stand for compassion, acceptance, respect, and empathy. Those are headed by our wonderful Dr. Ravi Sabapathy. Uh, and they really are trying to put back into the stream of consciousness how we take care of ourselves, how we give ourselves compassion, how we accept our current reality, how we can mutually respect each other, and how we can show empathy not only to ourselves, but to our coworkers and to our patients ultimately. We've had like over 90 90- Uh, team members on a call, like it'll go for an hour. And so it's really cool to see people take time out of their day to call in and listen, and then also to share. It's been very, very successful. And then finally, Narissa, we um, also just decided over the last year to develop a behavioral health task for us. It involves uh, one of our psychologists, uh, Greg and myself, uh, our team member well-being therapist, um, and our mission wellness um, uh, team member. And together we put our heads together, oh, and a representative from Human Resources too, uh, put our heads together to really keep a focus on what is it that our team members are needing at any given point in time. For my final question, are there any tips that you can share as our listeners may be interested or they may be currently working in healthcare uh, to help maintain balance with mental well-being? Nerissa, I'm glad that you asked that. First and foremost, we want to make sure that the biggest tip that we include for any healthcare workers is to understand and give yourself the same compassion that you give your patients. Um, it's it's a good idea to not only understand you know what compassion looks like for you, but also understanding that your self care is a necessity, not a luxury. Uh, we also encourage not only leaders but coworkers to lead into conversations with you know how are you doing how are things going and for co- for coworkers team members to also be open and be honest with others about this is what's going on for me and this is how you can support me having that immediate feedback is so incredibly crucial to a, a healthy work environment. During the pandemic, as Rennie mentioned before, with the Serenity Room, we also created um, some worksheets and some tip sheets just to carry around so that you've got some consistent reminders. Uh, One of them was on self-care, 10 tips for trying times, just some quick reminders of how you can go about taking care of yourself and how you can communicate to others what you need. Also, we created a self-care worksheet, one that's a little bit more in depth where you can have some time to sit and reflect and think on what does self-care look like to me? What do I need from other people? And in different circumstances and different situations, these are the things that are going to burn me out sooner than others. And how can I mitigate some of those risks? So those are just some things that we would highly recommend, but ultimately understand that your self-care is absolutely a necessity, not a luxury. Yeah. You know, Narissa, um, it's such an honor for Greg and I to be with you today and, and to really talk about what we're doing here uh, at Advent Health Shawnee Mission. Uh, healthcare is not easy. Uh, it's it's a tough career choice. However, there's not one out there that's any more rewarding than what we get to do right here. Thank you both so much for sharing all the insightful information and tips with us. And for our listeners, if you'd like to learn more, visit joinadventhealth.com slash Shawnee Mission. Thank you so much for listening and hope you join us next time.